Hey guys, Andrew Evans here, editor-in-chief of GearLive.com. 3D printing, a futuristic technology that's not only cool, but very functional. Sure, you can print great wall art or things to display on your desk, but it can also save you a bunch of money depending on what you print. For example, I know someone who needed a new part for their refrigerator. Their refrigerator had gone bad and they didn't make that refrigerator anymore, nor the parts for the refrigerator anymore. So the choice was get a new fridge or find the part. They couldn't find the part, so what they did was they 3D printed the part that they needed. The part would have cost several hundred dollars even if they could find it, and the 3D print job cost under $5. Now that just blew my mind. I've always shied away from 3D printing just because it seemed a little too technical, even for someone like me, a little too confusing, something I didn't want to take the time to learn. But when I saw this new 3D printer from New Matter called the Mod T, I knew I had to give it a try. What New Matter's done is created a way to simply 3D print objects directly from a web browser on your computer or your smartphone. So imagine when you're browsing the iOS App Store or the Google Play Store to download an app. 3D printing with the Mod T is pretty similar. You search through the App Store, you find a print that you want, you hit download, and it'll download it to the Mod T printer and it'll start printing. That easy, that simple. Getting the Mod T set up was even easier than I thought it would be with very minimal assembly required. Set it up, download the software for Windows or Mac, get firmware updates if there are any available for your Mod T at the time, and then connect it to your home Wi-Fi network because that's how it talks to the Mod T service. Just make sure you have a 2.4 gigahertz band enabled on your router because the Mod T will not connect to a five gigahertz network. Now, if you've known about 3D printing for a while, don't worry, this is not dumbing down the process. In fact, you don't have to use the New Matter store at all. If you have your own projects or you've downloaded projects from other places like Thingiverse, for example, you can actually use those STL and those OBJ files with the Mod T to print whatever you have files for. But the main point is if you're new to 3D printing, the Mod T walks you through the process step-by-step step to get you used to and accustomed to what 3D printing can be. At $399, this is one of the most affordable 3D printers that you can buy. And I'm serious about that. A few years ago, 3D printers in this class cost upwards of $1,400 for one printer. So we're down by a thousand bucks and Mod T makes it even easier than those older ones did. So if you're like me and you don't wanna deal with all the technical details of learning 3D printing from scratch, the Mod T is for you. At the same time, it's a system that grows with you, like I said. You can use your own STL files, you can use your own OBJ files, or when I say your own, I mean files you've gotten from somewhere else. You may not be at the point yet where you're designing your own prints, but you can certainly get them from other places besides a New Matter store. But I appreciate the fact that New Matter doesn't try to lock you into their platform, which some other 3D printing companies are trying to do, either by locking out certain file types or only allowing you to use their brand of filament that they will then overcharge you for. And filament is the plastic that's used to 3D print things. Oh, and before I forget, one other cool thing about the Mod T is that it's also social. So if you find a design or if you upload a design, you can actually share that to other friends of yours and they can then 3D print that in their home if they have a Mod T very easily as well. Aside from the easy setup and simple method of getting the filament all set up, the Mod T also just looks cool, what with that see-through casing. And by the way, for the parents out there, something like this is really cool for kids. Remember, 3D printing isn't going away. To the contrary, it's actually gonna get bigger and kids will learn more about machining and art and planning out their designs and seeing trial and error, all that with the Mod T than you'd think at first glance. But now I wanna hear from you guys. Have you gotten into 3D printing yet? If so, what devices have you used and what's the coolest thing you've printed? Let me know in the comments below and I'll meet you there for further discussion. Hit the thumbs up on this video if you enjoyed what you saw today. If you're into 3D printing, thumbs up for that. And don't forget to click or tap on my face and subscribe to the channel and stay up to date on all future video releases and some upcoming big giveaways we have coming here in the holiday season as well. Thanks for watching as always, guys. I'm Andrew Evers. I appreciate your support and I'll catch you in the next video.